Okay. Uh, that's weird. Okay, tell me, is this color blue the same shade as that green? I mean, now that I turned it off, I can kind of see it, but I still disagree that there's, like, a definite difference <laughs> between the two. Whatever. Okay, so this recap is odd. Not odd like the one done midweek, which I'm still editing that wedding road trip, but this, this recap is amidst absolute chaos. <laughs> um, at least I think so. So, recap. Um, that's just mostly because I'm inside and people are trying to sleep. So, it started on Friday. Okay, so I started moving some stuff to prepare for the roofing process to happen. And I thought, you know what? I could try to get some content out of this. So, uh, I've woken up early, earlier than I should have. And we've started the process, so... Already, we've moved the laptop that used to be technically in these two places. I've now stacked them and they are now both over there. As you can see, I've got a lot more work to do. Because somehow I'm supposed to fit a PC tower and at least two monitors. But I have four. <laughs> So, uh, all right, here we go. This is the part where things get a little more complicated. So I've got HDMI for a, a monitor that I just moved in. I've got the power plug for the monitor, but I have to figure out how all of that spider webs through all of this and over there to an extent. since 8 o'clock, or maybe earlier. I was in and out of sleep. No audio recording, I guess. And then this is what that setup looks like. It's all right. So, that's kind of what the situation is for Saturday. Um, they started yesterday, Friday, and it was a little worse then, where you had the... I, I don't know if I captured it when I <laughs> turned the camera on yesterday, but um, not only was it the drumming, but there was, like, the heavy hail of just all of the debris that was trapped for all the years underneath the shingles itself falling from the roof to the ceiling above. And that was kind of surprising and oddly disturbing. I don't know why, because there's the ceiling up there. But yeah, so this is the setup. And it's nice. It actually doesn't facilitate like work all that much. Um, I can kind of organize stuff and put things in their little categories, but as far as like sitting down and actually doing like heavy duty 
editing that gets really difficult especially when I've got my bed just like like less than a few feet over there uh, cuz like audio is just impossible to do so doing the recap tomorrow is going to be interesting unless they finish most of this and yeah I I have been sort of deterred from doing any sort of work on the wedding road trip video. Not... Uh, part of it is just because I keep getting distracted from just environmental stuff and also like a new sort of work setup, but also like this setup doesn't really facilitate a work environment type thing. Yeah, that's it for Saturday's update. So my camera is over there, the green screen is all wonky, my mic is over there, they took the roof and they threw it over there, then they took my chest out and they threw it over there. And recording needs more awareness now as I may disturb others trying to take a phone call or sleep. What I dangerously like about this setup is that my bed is literally in arm's reach. I just have to move the green screen out of the way. No crickets, ruining my audio. <laughs> Not a cricket to be heard. Yet. Um, a nice protective ceiling, even from man-caused chaos. But back in the workspace, the situation is more chaotic. Now actually open to the debris of general work and to the elements. Alright, so the whole thing's kind of been more of an ordeal than I thought it was. Um, the roofers did, like, tarp the entire interior when they worked on the roof but then um, they packed up everything including their tarp and they left but um, none of us none of us anticipated the fact that it was gonna rain in the morning or at least like sprinkle a little bit so we had to like quickly or at least I did when I started hearing the pitter-patter kind of rush out here see if they left the tarp they did not and then I had to throw together this like hap, um, not haphazard, what's it called? Makeshift sort of like little tent idea that I had once upon a time a long time ago. And luckily we kept the scraps. So we have this sort of circus tent of plastic down and then the little scraps and bits over there protecting stuff. Yeah, um, I don't think the carpet I think we got, I think I got out here quick enough that the carpet didn't like get like super, super gross, but yeah, no, none of us really, none of us really anticipated the fact that there's going to be precipitation <laughs> or that they would take their tarp. Yeah. So when you have two unexpected things, then it becomes a disaster. If you have one unexpected thing, then it's just kind of unfortunate, but usually two or three, it becomes a disaster. That's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, so now we're just waiting for things to sort of evaporate and dry off, and then I get to collect up the plastic again and then shove it back in its little corner. Where is it? Right about there. Cool. And so with that, um... You know, I'm, I'm still trying to hash out the wedding road trip video. I think this is, is a standalone thing. I don't really feel like making a little day in the life of about this necessarily. But they're, they should start finishing things up on Monday and probably Tuesday is what we're, what we're eyeballing. And then all of this stuff goes back in the garage maybe, hopefully. And then I have no excuse as to not editing stuff properly and getting it uploaded properly. So 
but I do plan on trying to get the wedding road trip edited and uploaded before, like, before Friday next week. And that's about it. Um, this one may have run a bit long because of the videos that I um, stitched in, but I hope it was worth watching. So thanks for checking in, and thanks for <laughs> sticking around to the end. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Later.